Hello, it's Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to get uh, some monsters to shoot at you. Uh, they're kind of throwing bones at me right now. I can still get them too, but now it's kind of a war. They're getting me and I'm getting them. And Eventually if they hit me enough times, or if I hit them enough times, I'll die, but I'll also die. So anyway, let's show you how I did this. <coughs> Now the first step was I created the sprite for the uh, bone. And I simply just drew this sprite of a bone, just filled it like that. Um, then I animated. I went to animation, rotation sequence clockwise. I set it to eight frames and that created this nice animation of a spinning uh, bone like they're throwing it at me. Named it sprite bone and I turned it into an object. <clears throat> now the bone object has a uh, creative end in it so that when the bone is created it's going to do this it's going to move towards your players X and Y position at a speed of 10 and the way you do this is you simply put in the name of your object that you, uh, the player that you're controlling in this case it's object underscore boy so I put object underscore boy dot X so that it goes towards the boys X value and object underscore boy dot Y to go towards the Y value and I give it a speed of 10. I also made it so that the bone can't go through walls, so I added a collision event with the wall that destroys itself self so that the bone will be destroyed once it hits a wall. I also, just in case, put in a outside room event that destroys the instance of self as well. That's all the bone needs to do. Now what I did is I made the monster, uh, the skeleton in this case, shoot the bone at me. And to do this, I added a step event. And in the step event, I went to the control tab, and there's this little test chance, little green dice. And what I put, I put 40. So 40 is a little over one second. If I put 30, that would be, uh, on average, it would, it would shoot a bullet every second at me, every once per second, because there's 30 steps per second in the game. And so if this is true, if it rolls a 1 out of the, out of a 30-sided dice, it's going to create an instance of the bone relative to your position. Now, we don't move, create a moving, we just create an instance because it'll actually move when it's created on its own. Um, the last thing I did is I went to my player's object and I added a collision event with the bone. And previous event, I showed you how to do the, uh, the uh, health bars. So when your bone collides the boy, uh, the boy HP uh, value negative one relative check so that takes away one hit point from your value then it tests whether or not your hit points is smaller than zero if it is it restarts the room and that's it that'll give that nice effect of uh, uh, the enemy attacking you so be sure to check out my other uh, tutorials that I have on all kinds of other things and um, thank you for watching